Good afternoon guys. I thought with ANZAC happening in the next few days, I thought that I would pull out um, my book called ANZAC TED and read it to all of you guys. So, grab a cushion or a hop on the couch or a lie in your bed if you want to and sit back and enjoy the story. So we've got ANZAC TED. There's ANZAC TED. What a cute wee teddy bear. Anzac Ted's a scary bear, and I can tell you why. He's missing bits, his tummy splits, and he only has one eye. I can see that Ted's got a plaster on his eye. Ouch. His fur is torn and dirty, and he hasn't any clothes. He doesn't hear with just one ear. He should have two. Tairua, two of those. Look. He's only got one ear. His head is kind of wobbly and his legs are rather slow. Perhaps it's due to one or two encounters with a foe. Poor Ted. He looks like he's got a lot of sores and owies. I put him in the washer and I try to get him clean. But Anzac clings to bras and strings and things I've never seen. Look at this little boy. He's putting his teddy bear in the washing machine. Maybe if your teddy bear or toy is dirty, you can put it in the washing machine and clean it. But you have to ask mum or dad first. Make sure. He's frightened all the children. Making show and tell a mess. I don't know why some start to cry. I reckon I can guess. No, can you see in the picture there? Little boy. Looks pretty sad. All his friends have left the classroom because they're scared of his little teddy bear. He never wins a toy show when we vote our favourite toy. He doesn't tote a single vote from any girl or boy. Look at all the toys that Ted is going up against. I can see a robot. I can see a train. What else can you see in those pictures? There's lots and lots of really cool toys. Instead, the class just riddles all 27 kids. Though no one knows why Anzac was or just how brave he is. They just can't see he's special or the secret he may hold. He might look worn and badly torn, but Anzac is very old. There he is. And look, this is a newspaper. It says Daily News. War. Anzacs to aid Britain. <gasps> See, Anzac was my grandpa's when my grandpa was a kid. He made it through a war or two, just like the Anzacs did. So this has been is quite old because his granddad had it. Wow. When Grandpa Jack enlisted, he was only 21. He kissed his wife, he loved his wife, and hugged his baby son. Then Grandpa packed a teddy bear, the bear he called his own. For luck, she said, take Anzac Ted, I know he'll bring you, he'll bring you home. And look at Ted there. He looks all new, he's got a pretty bow, all nice and clean. He's got his two ears, he's got his two eyes. So Anzac Ted went off to war from Africa to Greece. And in each tent where Anzac went, he gave our soldiers please, peace. Look, he's got a helmet on like, like the army people have, soldiers. He soon became their mascot, and despite the diggers' dread, they knew that they would make it through alongside Anzac Ted. Look, there they go. They're all going off to war. Anzac Ted's going with them. So Anzac was a hero when the war was finally done. 
Through battle sore and scarred by war, he'd faced his fears and woe. He never saw a medal, but some heroes never do. And we don't see just how we'd be without our Anzac crew. That's old grandpa there. But that's when he was 21. I know he isn't pretty and some people roll their eyes. But if they see, like you and me, through Anzac's thin disguise, they'd see a hero, plain as day, who sits upon my bed. A hero who saved me and you. His name is Anzac Ted. Wow, what a really cool book. So with Anzac happening this weekend, if you guys do anything, my daughter is in Cubs. So on Saturday morning at 6am, she is going to get into her uniform and she's going to go and stand at our gate for about a minute or so because this year she can't go to the parade because um, of the lockdown. Um, some people make Anzac biscuits. Um, I'm going to try and make some poppies with my children this afternoon. So if you guys do anything exciting for Anzac, put it on Story Park or on our YouTube. We'd love to see what you guys get up to. Have a great day, guys.